expect naman ngayon wala sa Perez sa teams. And I think yung Franco baka hindi na talaga iban dito ng Archangel eh. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, uh, it's, it's not necessary. Kasi tingin ko merong isang hero dito na nag-shine most eh. Kasi nagtitake notes ako kanina from game one. Nakapansin ko, merong isang hero doon na sobrang anlaki ng, ano, ng, uh, ng contribution when it comes to fight. Again, we have Akai. Ako, tingin ko, yung cancel kanina nung Franco after the hook, he jumps in and then used the hurricane dance, wala na kagad magagawa. Pati yung, siya lang yung merong mechanic for now na nakikita ko na effective against Kupra, the bouncing ball is the hurricane dance as well. Hindi siya nai-stop, pero nagpo-pushback niya yung bouncing ball. Which is a very good opening, defensive opening for them to come back. Kung sakaling, kung sakaling lugi sila, isang hurricane dance lang, ang laki niya ng contribution, disabled ka ganyan, and very nice way to counter-initiate. I, I think it's also one your of, uh, it shows family. a very, very big difference uh, philosophy ng dalawang team that earlier. Signal Ultra, how your they try to address the Franco picking. simply by banning it. Archangel does it differently. They plan the heroes, wow. may pili sila ng hero na kumakounter sa kanila, they get the jawhead, picking. they get the akai, iba talaga yung approach nila, and you can see which is clearly the winning strategy yeah. here. I want to mention, by the way, last thing ni Grant that previous game, and all uh, season three long. Sobrang ganda ng performance dito. Even, iba yung understanding niya sa Grok eh. He thinks that this girl is stacking off and can dish out so much damage to a point na kaya niya mag-knockout ng Lord. I think siya, then yung few, few Groks na nagre-retribution on the Grok himself. I think it's very creative about it. How important is this first big Grok para sa matchup na to? It's incredibly important. Think about the fact na the way that uh, Lasty actually uses that Grok. He, he doesn't use it like everybody else eh. He uses it like to dive people under towers. Nakakapatay siya ng mga lever. Nakakapatay siya. He gets kills. He, he splits. He doesn't use it like a traditional tank eh. I think the understanding dito ng Archangel on how to use the Grok is on a very, very different level. So if anything, Grok is really what you want to avoid letting Archangel have. That might be the next lesson, if ever, para sa Brenny Sports. Pero nakuha naman nila, Lunox and Coco. I really like this pick mula sa Brenny Sports because this allows Yuji to actually take over. Kasi para yung kanina, yung Alice, it wasn't the pick for him. It wasn't the hero for Yuji at that moment. We want Yuji to be that consistent guy to dish out the damage. One ask, Tamus and Lunox, how important is this para sa Brenny Sports? I mean, kung titignan natin dito yung Lunox, pati yung yung Tamus, is a good pick for Brent. Kasi dinidin na yung nakagad nila yung yung Tamus para sa, sa Archangel. Because we know every every game Archangel, they wanna secure the Tamus ASAP as soon as possible that they can. So, ayun yung, ayun yung ginawa kagad dito ng Brent. They don't want Tamus to be on the hand of Archangel. Yeah. There is Akai na napili ng Brenny Sports. Samantala, Kari, is this also a deny pick para sa Archangel para hindi siya makontra ng Grok or talagang comfortable lang yung Archangel with this hero? I mean, kung titignan natin dito, kung titignan natin dito yung Kari, Kari, she is the counter for Tamus. Kaya na, okay yung oh. ginagawa nila dito. Okay, pina, sabi nila, okay, bigay, bigay, bigay na namin sa inyo yung Tamus. We still have Kari. Kaya tinerd pick agad nila yan. Ibang klase dito yung pick ng, ng Archangel. Um, like Ilis Rado said, do sa sa Grok, super dominant yan. It's super, super aggressive, super dominant. May kasabihan nga kami sa term ng, ng ML, kaya niya mang gangster early on. <laughs> yeah. Kaya mang gangster. Mabihira nga naman natin marinig yun. But now, Franco actually, hindi na Archangel dito. They have respect for the specific hero, but maybe they're planning something else. Now, Akai is also a very important tank para picking. sa Brenny Sports, and they ban out yung Leomort ng Archangel. What's next for Ren Esports? Are they looking for another tank or so ba nila mag-secure na ng isa ulit fighter? Uh, you know, honestly, uh, for me, Bren has to go back to basics. Stick to what they know, what they're good at. Pick up the Hellcart again. Uh, uh -huh. Napakaganda ng Hellcart on Coco when he, whenever, he picks it up, when he, whenever he picks it up. And I think if they start showing their experience kung kailan sila mag-split push, you know, their decision-making, it's really, they have really strong fundamentals. And if they let that shine, pick up a Hellcart, uh, maybe even a Kufra, it's gonna Your allow them to win the game. I like the Kufra. It also prevents yung Hellcurt para sa Archangel because Archangel can pick that up to kind of answer the Lunox. But what else ba yung mga pwede nilang pang kontra dito sa Lunox as well as the Kufra from Archangel's side? I think they're lacking another tank if the Cho will be a fighter and then probably a mage for their team. Ang tingin ko wala na dito is yung sustain. For the first three picks ng Archangel, well, meron nga silang Grok, which is a good frontliner. Well, he can easily gangster yung sabi nga natin kanina, kahit sinong hero. Pero ang alagaan nila dito is yung, ano, yung, yung carry. They need to have another hero who will protect and who will support carry for the early stages. Kapag, kasi once in a mid game na, excuse me, is most of the time talagang carry will shine eh. Pero, uh, well, at the moment, I think this is a Kadita into a Lapu-Lapu. I think the stun Ooh, from uh, wow. Lapu-Lapu is somewhat okay. 
for uh, for them to catch the back lines as well kasi sobrang haba ng anong ano niya. Oh, well, you know this made me think kung bakit nila binan yung Franco kasi lapu-lapu na is a hero na gusto niya lagi siyang nakaatake at all times. He Hanabi. needs to be online at most times and it will be uh, the, the Franco would have been great. Hanabi is a hero na ginamit ng Brand Esports to great success during the group stages. Pinanalo nila to laban sa Signal all that. But now, meron na tayong complete line up dito. Now, I want to ask your predictions starting from Illustrado. Sino mananal? Is this going to be a 1 1 from Archangel? Or from Ready Sports, I mean, or 2 0 para sa Archangel? 2 0 Archangel. Okay, very quickly. Okay. Yes, okay. I'm 2 0. 2 0 this Archangel. Because yung lapu lapu, once na nagkuti siya na kuwan yung, yung weapon yung buo, he can just two shot the Hanami. He can just two shot the Lunox pag naka dark, naka dark form siya. So, deadly to. Super underrated hero, super OP hero. So, Archangel, they know their stuff, they study their stuff, they do it right, and I think on this one, I'll go for Archangel. All right, how about you, Dads? Bring her ulit, Bren. Okay. Uh, I'll go for Bren this time. He's always right, Ooh. though, actually. Because he's always right, though, actually. He's always right, though, I didn't say more on the drafting. Kasi. Okay. Execution is pare pare eh. But the reason why I picked up Bren, kasi meron sila mga tanks na kaya mag absorb ng enough damage. And also, Akai, ilang pesos na nakikita yun, they can take advantage of the, of the uh, Guardian's bar uh, barrier in, in his advantage. So, ang laking bagay na when it comes to team fight. Mobile Legends is all about team fighting. And kapag mas marami yung, uh, yung, yung heroes mo to control the fight, you have an edge when it comes to. Uh, late game, mid game fight, so I'll go for Brent. Okay, so dalawa para sa Archangel, isa para sa Brent Esports. Pero ngayon, ibabasa muna natin sa malupit na tandem, it's gonna be Majin and Shade Bull. Sa inyo na muna. Maraming salamat, Kuya Bull, pero mas malupit ang mga Nostra nyo dyan. 2-1 para sa Archangel. Kami po ay nagbabalik. Yeah. Ito na. Pasa na daw natin kagad, Kuya Shin. Let's Into go. the game we go, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is game two of the finals between Archangel versus Bren Esports. For the first time in forever, pinili dito ang tatlong heroes, uh -oh. Kuya Shin Bu. At pare, sa ating ikalawang laban, anong nangyayari? Nagpaparamdam ang ating bayani. Lag ang pinakaunang bayani ng Pilipinas. Ang pinakaunang hater ng Pilipinas. Ang Si, si Lapu Lapu. On March 16, mm. 1521. Oh, naku, ano yung CB ka When mo? Philippines was discovered by Magellan. Oh. <laughs> sabi na po Lapu, Oy! Bawal ka dito, boy. Ah, bawal parking dyan. Bawal parking dyan. Ano, ano, Pero ano, ano. syempre, dahil nayatap si Lapu Lapu, sabi na Lapu Lapu, lipat na lang ako sa ML. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Mundo, syempre. Syempre. Sa binabati. pagbigay. At binabati rin natin, syempre, yung mga entities that made our event possible. Real me, Game Lee. Maraming salamat. Smart. Yes, oh, oh. Mart, sa lahat ng mga sponsors natin. Okay. All right, going Hero. back into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Like what our analyst said, ano tao, parang Shane Bu, Lapu-Lapu is very underrated. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero having the high and dry, mukhang gusto nito ng suntukan, gusto nito ng ispadahan. Okay, Archangel on the blue side. Kiluwash para sa Lapu-Lapu. Jay for the show, Rio. Right. Onda Kadita, Lasty for this grub. Brothers. And of course, Jeff Cutie forever for the carry. Para naman dito sa side of Bren Esports, UG, gagamit ang Lunox. Coco, bilang ang Hanabi Pain. Bilang ang Kufra, Haze. Bilang nga kay at si Rico naman ang gagamit ng Thumbs dito, Kuya Shinbo. Yep. Interesting marksman lineup para sa dalawa. Uh -oh. Parehas uh -oh. na a weakness finder. Ay, uh, <laughs> but, electro flash or weakness uh -oh. finder, Kuya uh -oh. Shinbo. And the interesting part about here, parang imagine, is the compositions are designed to actually uh, make the most of the backline damage na pwede pang galing mula sa Hanabi tsaka dito sa Kari. Actually, yes. curious ako, kailangan nyo bantayan kung paano maka-accelerate yung damage nitong dalawa. Correct. Correct. Kasi ang disenyo nitong, ano, nitong Archangel, you would want to get the touch. At least ma ma makuha mo si Yuji, which is the yeah. enough kit. Tama. Ang problema, hanggang saan, hanggang kailan yung kaya mong i-withstand with the bouncing damage coming in from the Petal Barrage of Coco. Yun nga ang mangyayari. And the first blood na wala mm. sila pula po dito. And again, sorry, it is the Electro Flash. Mm -hmm. Electro Flash. Po, ibig sabihin nito, babackline sila ka. Kasabi mo nga, hahanap sila ng, ata ay, ng movement speed dito sa mangyayaring Clash. Pero this is, again, a Luno. Oh. Di ba rin Yuji? Oo, okay, pinanakap si Jay mga kaibigan pero lumakap din siya ng bilang pagganti. Thousand Pounder sa may ikot ka agad. Swag na swag at kita mo wasak yung Joe doon. Pero tuloy pa rin ang aksyon. Jeff. You get the turtle getting secured here by last team. Bumawi pa rin 
ng Archangel sa may atras. Habol dito sila Ribo, pero mukhang sila hihinto. So may bandang baba. Ma'am pa out, nabanggit kanina ng mga panel natin kay Shin Bu na yung parang si Yuji, hindi bagay sa kanya yung passive-aggressive type of damage heroes kagaya ng Alice kanina. Atina, no? Ito talaga ang Lunox God. Hindi naman siya tatawaging Mr. Consistent uh -oh. for nothing, Kuya uh -oh. Shin. Kasi the main difference between the ano, Alice and, and the, the Lunox. Lunox, Alice is leaning more on the setup. Yes, He needs yes. to get the proper timing to make that dive for that ultimate round 2 oh. kay Jaina naman dito. Favorite spot. Pero this time, nasipa ka agad oh. na hindi na binigyan ng chance ang maging mapabola yung Kufra. Another one. Hey, sir, diving. Pero ang ganda ng inipit dito. Sila naman na si Nandwich. Mm. Pero mula sa likod, nandito si Maring Coco. Ah. He can to the bana! Grabe, agawa ng championship. Lahat gusto magka-medal. At tras dito, sila lasti. At kita mo naman, ginagawa pa rin ni Kiluwas. Bahala kayo dyan. Bahala kayo dyan. Sa taas. I am the hero. Uh -oh. Ako pinakaunang bayani. Bayani ng bansa. Bayani ng bansa. Level 6 oh. para dito kay Giluwas dito. And mukhang free ang kanyang mga magiging yeah. objectives dito kay Shin Bu. And parang imagine accelerated actually yung gold ni Giluwas dito. Ang bilis, ang bilis. He has uh, hunting bow here. Very, very close on building the Bloodlust Axe. Kahit, kahit na meron siyang isang death dito kay Shin Bu. Pero mukhang magiging ma-action nga ang laruan natin. Kasi even si Jay ay talagang hanap ng hanap ng action. Excited ako makita dito yung true damage uh, output na meron si Jeff Q forever at yung criticals na iahatid ni Coco Iko, mamaya. Ina inaantay ko din dito eh. I want to observe din. I think it's the usual rush on Coco syempre on building that Circus Fury. Totoo, totoo. But of course, that's kind of wishful thinking right now kasi mapapansin ko ang taas lagi ng emphasis ng Archangel sa mga side lanes. Sobra. Ta iba nga yung ginagawa nila eh. Parang meron silang kakaibang rotation. Yung tinawag nating sandwich. Uh -oh. Yung akala mo pumront na sila pero hindi easy. Kutad ka pala. Hindi, hindi pincer ah. Hindi pincer. Sandwich. Uh -oh. Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, sandwich. Oh, kakagutom. <laughs> kakagutom talaga. Pero let's see. Ah, Pains Kufra naman dito kay Shin Bu. Very commendable din. Isa sa mga first row players oh. na nakadiscover sa abilities ng Kufra. He can use it against the yeah. Rock Block. But meanwhile... Iba hey, ang kwento dito kina Coco. Oh, mm. Binasa! Binasa! Yeah, Coco na! Coco na! Binasa! Coconut, Coconut. Binigyan na na Shuriken. Dalawa lang pero kulang pa rin. And look at that. Actually very curious. Anong ginawa ni Lasty? Nakuha ba yung turtle? We have no idea for that one. Pero lagi na lang ganun. Lagi talaga. Ganun na tiwala ng Archangel kay Lasty. Iiwan siya para siya yung tumingas <laughs> ng turtle. Hindi mawawasak ang puso ni Lasty Max. Ni Lasty Max. Yan ang lagi niyong tatandaan. Pero ang lamang dito sa ating laban pa rin si Ingu, Bren Esports Rebo. Yeah. Having three assists, instant bloodless axe. Kapag thumbs ka, may ganyan kay item, oh. pwede ka nang gumera hanggang doon. Yun lang, nadali doon si Coco. Pero siguro okay na rin. Nakumpleto ang, nakumpleto ang mission at nakukuha pa rin naman yung outer mid lane turret. Circus Fury already available for Coco. Interestingly, Rebo there was faster in taking the bloodless axe by one second lang naman against Kinoa. So ibig sabihin, hindi lang si Kinoa siya lamang dito. Padalit si Rebo. Tapos kaya na tayo sa mayroon ng gitna. Tingnan natin kung sino mawawala. There goes Yuji. Pumabadukin, pumabadukin lang si paring UG dito. At mukhang na-depensahan ng Bren ang kanilang Tori dyan. Meanwhile, there's going to be a free space na magmumula naman kay paring Coco doon sa taas. Kakasabi mo nga ko yung Shibu, yung Circus Fury, instant crit type para kay Hanabi. Ang tawag na natin sa kanya dito, Krinitan. 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 Ang favorite nating, ang favorite nating member ng crit squad. Oh! Let's see here, another one on to Lasty. Lagi talagang nakakapanggigil. Bigyan nyo yun, Dikino Rebo. Yuji, Padukin! Padukin, Padukin, Padukin! Kapi! And ito na yung sinasabi natin, Mr. Consistent. 3-0-1, highest KDA sa MPL Season 3. You know, Harry, Lunox, give this kind of hero na high tempo talaga kay QG. He's really gonna make waves. Isa sa mga laking gustong-gustong kong tandem talaga pag nagsasama yan. Either UG, Rebo, UG, Hayes. Yun na nga eh. Basta kahit sino isama mo kay UG, kaya Shibu. Lagi kang may consistent na follow-up. Your dad got you. Yun na nga. Your dad, the mage dad got you. The mage dad. Ang dami na niyang moniker dito. Mage dad, Mr. Consistent. Dahil nga sobrang galing having that 4.5% na magic damage to the max HP ng kalaban mo kapag level 6. Itong Chaos, ano, Chaos Assault, paring Shibu. Oo oh, oh, nga pala, speaking of Mage Dad, binabati ko nga pala ang mga pamilyang nanunood po ah, ngayon. Maraming salamat. Diyan sa broadcast natin at syempre dito sa venue, pati yung mga pamilya ng players natin. Totoo, na salt na naman ang mga moms. Ay, Dito mga sa mga moms. Ito. Nako po, si Jay ang hiling sa pwestong yan. Tingnan natin kung meron pang isang mabubuhang mula sa side dito ng Archangel. No, wala naman. Si Kiluwas trabaho Ta lang. Grabe si Kiluwas dito. Ang tunay na hunter. <laughs> hunter x hunter, paring Shibu, sabi ni Ribo. Hoy, teka, 
wag mong gagamulin yung top lane namin ha. Ang ginagawa ni Kuluwash dito, nare-reset niya yung gustong tempo gawin ng bread. Yeah, sa, sa ibang bahagi ng mapa. Sa ibang bahagi ng mapa. And this is very interesting kasi you don't usually see bread na sila ang nagre-react sa isang push, Kuya Sheet. Here is another na now towards Lasty, but this time that is a crack na na corner at apat ngayon yung nagigigil mula dito sa Blend Esports. Gigil There might gigil. be no chance to contest this push into this inner bottom lane turret. Gigil na gigil Yuck, si Kapitan no Payne dito. Tignan mo yung box out na ginagawa niya dito by using the Cupra and right now Archangel. One on one. One on one with the great one. Jeff Cutie versus Rebo. Okay, okay, okay. Mamba out. out. Both of these teams, okay sila sa mga makukunat na line up paring Shinbu. Pero kung iisipin mo, parang mas lamang sa malayo ang uh, instant burst ang site ng Bren Esports yeah, yeah. dahil dito kay UG Lunox. Yeah, yung three-man squad nung uh, Bren Esports mas solid ngayon. As in, when they converge, I would lean more on Bren Esports winning. Pero again, may oh isang approach yung Archangel dito sa mapa. And that is a, a different approach para sa game natin. And that would be to control the map. Pero not like this. Tingnan mo naman si Kadita doon. Nanuyot. Nanuyot, nanuyot. Mga kaibigan, para dito kay Griyo. And again, si, si Rio din kanina yung gumamit ng Lunox dito. And actually, Kadita, hindi rin siya, action Jackson siya, pero parang passive din yung galaw eh. Yeah, Kasi yeah, you're yeah. waiting for the setup of the yeah. Red of the Ocean, tapos Ramp Waves out. Kadita is actually a responsive hero. Hindi siya yes. yung usual na ginagamit mo pag setup talaga. Oh, oh, oh. Inaantay mo na lumapit yung kalaban, saka mo babatiin ang tubig. Kung baga yung parang may piyesta. Tama. Sa, <laughs> piyesta ng San Juan. Oo, oh, na San Juan. Parang na, piyesta ng San Juan. Alam mo yun, nas, nakasakay ka sa jeep base, nabihis ka, aakit ka ng ligaw, tapos sasabuyan ka ng tubig. Yun nga ang mangyayari. Binabati ko lahat ng mga taga San Juan, mm. pero nasa Pasay tayo ngayon. <laughs> Kuya Shinbu, sabi dito na Bren Esports. Teka lang, babasagin namin yung top. Huwag na kayong maingay dyan. Pero kala, oh, medyo pulado lang ang ating Tori dito right now. Walang, Walang, po. Walang minion wave. Kakatansyaan itong dalawa si Jay. Oh, Dinaya talaga ng mga hero. Na, mga nudes parang Shinbu, speaking of Jay, nahihirapan din siya mag-land ng 1-2 punch dito. Oh, oh, eh. oh, oh. Kasi yung, yung lineup ng Bren Esports, uh, ano eh, you have the life steal <laughs> muna sa Thumbs. Oh, oh. Ayaw mo naman Cupra ang sipain mo. Yeah. Medyo, Even to magandang counter. Medyo oh. napila yung Cho niya eh. Oh, Kanina, na, eh, ilang, ilang, injury, injury. Oh, ilang, ilang injury yung nakuha niya dun sa may bandang baba. Now, in good control, itong Bren Esports dito sa ating mapa. Sama mo pa yung immortality dito. Hindi yan magsasawa. Si Hayes na mag-dive. Oh my G, sabi ng Bren, kalit na kami. Kalit na kami. We will avenge game number one. Sabi ng Bren dito, Avengers oh. Assemble! Dahil ba? pupunta sila dito sa mid lane, Kuya Shin. Ako sa may bandai. Of course, no minion wave pa. They're trying to get the proper opportunity. They don't want to get pinned down and be divided by the wall. Dito ni Lasty. And so far, they're just punishing the main crowd control mula dito. And that is actually Jay. Napansin ko lang, no? Yung multi-target knock-up nila. Oo. Oh, oh. Ay, Jay lang pala talaga, no? Mahirap, mahirap. Ay, well, may, may knock-up din kay Kadita, pero ang dali i-dodge nun. Madali eh, no? i-dodge, eh. Yung uh, magiging dilemma dito ng Archangel kasi yung sugod nila basa kung saan mang gagaling eh. Unlike the Cupra, from long distance, coast to coast, mm. mula baklaran hanggang SM North Edge, sa ganun, ganun kalayo. Walking yung distance, second no? skill walking machine. distance, walking, walking distance. Walking, walking distance. <laughs> pero walking distance. <laughs> Tignan natin. Paglakad mo, no? Pagdating mo ng North, kamukha mo na si Grok. Kamukha, ano ka na, warrior ka War. na. Ganun. Para ka nang si Lapu-Lapu. Speaking of Lapu-Lapu, wala pa siyang nakukuha kahit isa dito, maring Shinbu. Nagbaliktad bigla yung ating laban. Sir, Kanina, ganito ka surprise yung Red Esports. Tayin mo lang, kasi bayani yan eh. Siyempre, ah, tama, tama, tama. Bayani, tama. nagpapabugbog sa Nagpo, una. Naisusulat. 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 Oh, yeah. Nagpapabugbog sa umpisa, okay. pero time out, substitution. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bren Esports right now, sila ang nagdidikta ng gera, Kuya Shin. Yeah, I think so. I think the boss would come in from the side ng uh, Bren yata dito. But of course, our uh, marshals and league ops to handle that one. At least naging chill, no? Chill, chill, Kanina chill. Kanina kasi chill. parang yung, yung game one natin, ayaw magpatawad eh. Oo nga eh, parang ano eh. <laughs> Kasama pa ng prot, grabe naman yung MET. Grabe ang MET. Ngayon lang nakakita ng esports production na may kulog-kulog pa. May, may kulog pa, <laughs> pati, pati yung ano, pati yung... <laughs> Yung panahon ay sumang-ayon, oh. kumukulog <laughs> ang laban. Tanda mo, Kuya Shinbo, pag may kulog, may anghel. Pwedeng oh, may ganun. Pwede, no? oh. Pwedeng may ganun ang dating. And, ayun nga, medyo mas stone down itong ating game. Two points ang Bren Esports na maitulak ito sa isang 1-1. Yeah. And actually, kung ako hindi mo na kasama ng panel, ang call ko dito is actually a 3-2. Pwede, yeah, no? no? Pili ko nga uh, game number 5. May, may, may 5 talaga ito. Sa to, ganito kainit uh, na laruan. Itong dalawang, team, itong dalawang team medyo malabo sila ma-3-0. Ito yung mga kalibre ng team na hindi mo tinitri zero eh. Ganadong ganado eh. Hindi ka pwede magkamali. Bawal kang pasma. Bawal may tumawag sa'yo mm -hmm. sa phone mo. Kumbaga, chill lang muna sila yeah. ngayon. 
Yeah. Paring manjin, binabati oh. ko rin Sige. lahat ng mga pro teams natin na nakasama natin dito sa playoffs. Maraming Grabe. salamat. Grabe, yeah. every time that uh, uh, a team gets dropped, tinitingnan ko lagi kung uh, ano yung reaction nila. And isa lang talaga masabi ko, sobrang bigat talaga ng buhay ng isang pagiging ng isang pro. Pagiging... Hindi biro talaga. Kasi kailangan mong manalo. That's Oo. the pressure na meron Oo. sa'yo. Oo. You yung, need to win. That's yung, it. Oo. Yung, alam mong ibinigay mo lahat. Yung right. best mo. Pero Oo. yung game pa rin yung magdidictate ng fate mo. Correct. Let us see here. We are just down to the last two player. Eto na. Nako, eto pinompiang na Pips. ni Kuya Pain. At sinagyan Oo. ng kulaklak sakto Yabi. summer para dito sa Bren Ismo. And that's reminiscent of the setup na ginawa din ni Tets on Kufra. <laughs> Laging hindi. Laging Laging nasa isa tapos dyan. Laging dyan na uuntog. Oh, yung dulong yan. Oh, yung yung pwesto na yan, dyan lagi inuuntog yan yung mga kalaban. Yung higaan ni Jay. Oo, oh, ganda ng higaan ni Jay. <laughs> Pero right now, Lang. ladies and gentlemen, Archangel, meron pa ba silang mga kapitan dito? Unti-unti na bang tinatanggal ang mga pakpak nila? Kasi kung titignan nyo ang mapa, may objective tayong mga nakikita para sa side Lang. ng Bren Eastwood. Lako, larong gila ko. Nakakaibit na naman. Nah, this place is just cutie forever. There is no way that he can actually survive that one. That is a very curious positioning then. Oh, Wala doon kay Jay. Again, hindi ka man tatapaan ng, ta matatamaan ng 1,000 pounder. Oo. Merong movement speed bonus. Yung Totoo. hurricane dance, matataya at matataya ka niyan. Madidisplace at madidisplace ka niyan. Ito na naman, oh. yung chow na pilay. Tingnan natin kung kaya bang mabuhay. Say he's down by the Thames here. Lord, getting focus here by Brad Esports. Lord, nagtataka na. Teka, <laughs> nagtataka ko yung... kayo. Hindi, sandali lang. Kalma, <laughs> babalik ako dito. Habang si Rio ang ah, makikita ninyo. Naku po. They are Bren. out for blood. They are Baking... out for... Speaking them one by one, Grishito. Yes, mga kaibigan. Siguro nga hindi pa napuputol yung pakpak, pero yung feathers, nararamdaman ko. Sinasabunutan. Sinasabunutan. Sa esports dito. Naku po, ladies and gentlemen. Gina. Lasty! Lasty Mac. Lasty Mac. Oo. Oh, He will and... try his best, Grishin. Ito si Lasty. Ito yung ano eh, last steel. Di ba? Last steel. Grabe last yan. Steel. Grabe yan sa Lord. So, sisigurado yung nayata nila. Oh my G. Hindi na din na binigyan ng chance. Ah. At wasak. Doon na wasak ang puso ni Last Team Act dahil yung Lord nagtataka na naman. Audition. Pumasok si Guluwas dito pero makukuha ni Mr. Consistent oh. and Lord. At naku po, nag-audition. Nag-audition. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, ang Archangel. And of course, mitigating that plan ang ginawa na lang ni Jeff Cutie Forever is go for the push here into the bottom lane side. It's not yet over. I think that is the first Lord pa lang naman ang laro natin. Again, sa composition na merong lapu-lapu at merong dinggari. Medyo madali ba-depend sa'yo? Medyo napakadali nga lang. And of course, this is the Lord na pwede-pwede nang samahan ng Bren. Susugod na. Oh, oh. Yeah! May napansin Ako lang pala ako, pare. Oh. May hanabi nga pala. Ako, tayang-taya sila lahat dyan. Nakahagip pa, nakahagip si Jeff. Look at the damage ng hanabi kanina, pare. Yung crits, 1k. So, ibig sabihin, tanggal ka agad yung isang chunk ng bar mo doon sa iyong life points. Habang huli na si naman Jay. si Jay dito na medyo napilay. And Bren right now, lumipat Wala na ang camera sa kanila. Yeah. Tingnan natin, kinuha siya labas ang kanyang laser sword. May palago siya dito pero nag-audition na naman. Ah. Eh, sabi nga ng Bren dito, this and another this one. Yeah. Game 2, ladies and gentlemen. And Yan ang sigurado. Yan ang opinion way. Bonus na lang na makapatay ng ibang membro ng Archangel John. It's gonna be a wipe, an ace in the base. And you can actually see here that Brand Esports will be taking Game 2 sa ating Grand Finals. Hindi pwedeng 2-0. Walang 2-0. Walang 2-0. Dapat 2-1, 3-2, 3-1. Ganun. Oh, umuulan pero mainit ang laban. We have here... We, are, we got ourselves a series here. Kuya Shinbu, ito na ba ang download complete? Ito na ba, time and time again, 